Hi everyone, welcome back, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I am Tarun Sharma and here we are going to talk about a brand new playlist which is going to talk about Airbnb clone. We are done with the Swiggy clone, Uber Eats clone, I am building the rest of the videos that contains a lot of design and the next JS application. And in parallel I also want to build a Airbnb clone so that I won't get bored by Uber Eats clone. I can also parallelly work with Airbnb clone because for this the for these kind of full stack application i'm adopting the common methodology we are using nestjs apis and uh, front end we are using the react and the nextjs so, and we are going to use chat gpt for taking lots of decisions okay so let's build airbnb clone here what we are doing is let's talk about the features what all features i need to build airbnb clone so chat gpt will answer i need a user registration authentication property listing obviously there because we need to show on the landing page what all different properties are available with the different categories search and filters robust search functionality that allows us to search the properties based on the location dates and their availability booking and the reservation management allows users to book the property check the availability manage their reservations review and ratings that can so these individual features can be you can think as a separate services the review and rating management booking reservation system apis search and filters that should be attached with the property listing and the user authentication okay and then payment integration because at the end you would be doing a stripe payment user profile and verification notification system social sharing recommendation admin dashboard and next yes, dashboard we can build localization currency we can skip stick to only one currency uh, mobile we are not looking for and then now uh, let's build authentication system authorization system for airbnb clone app so i think it should it should keep building on top of that so what all things we need let's say i'm building my own authentication service or i don't want to use it i can just use existing solutions provided by auth zero firebase and all so secure password storage login access token password reset authorization role based access control because there will be multiple roles we'll be using the applications admin host guest and middleware for authentication logout functionality which can uh, re-delete the session account deactivations secure sessions using cookies two-factor authentication using your api system logs and monitoring okay how to what all authentication solutions available for airbnb clone i mean for any system Let's see if it is able to understand we are building airbnb clone so what all different authentication solutions we can use these primarily i am just reading and explaining because this is all generated solution industry standard we can use auth to doto and we can just allow users to authenticate themselves using facebook google or twitter or we can just use auth zero that is also using auth that is a custom provider using that you can just log in with the username password log in with social providers log in with sso all these things are there or you can just create a json web token based authentication writing by your own service where you will be building your authentication and authorization firebase authentication firebase authentication is a backend service provided by google's firebase platform and we have used firebase for the swiggy clone we build a simple token based authentication in the uber eats clone so we can use the first one we can use auth zero platform which comprises of all these solutions and then firebase authentication and this auth zero you can uh, connect with the next auth for if you are building the next js application uh, you can use this auth zero for your api development and all and then open id connect auth zero this is what i'm thinking to use for my next project i mean it allows you to log in with the social logins with username password or you can build your own custom login service obviously building your own service is really tricky you need to handle all the different scenarios of custom uh, reset password password policy managing the users in the database uh, managing the passwords using, using secured hash and salt values 
I mean, that's easy to build, but we can give this responsibility to a third party provider so we can just focus more on the, the services and logic services. Okay, so now I want to understand more on what technology should I use for building APIs, Node.js? I mean, I want to Node.js specific answer. I don't want to go with the Python or anything else. So we can see Express.js is a popular lightweight framework. Then we have a Nest.js, Fastify, Koa. Fastify is fast that I can, I have seen in the, the, the states uh, when you benchmark simple APIs, it's the fastest. Among it can serve more requests than Nest.js and Express. Kua is a light, lightweight modern API framework. So there are a happy JS loopback, sales, JS, Kua, Nest, JS, Express. I will stick to Nest.js or Express that gives us or gives us whatever we need. Otherwise, you can also use a Fastify. I mean, these are just like a wrapper around. And happy JS I have used that is also really robust. Now, my question, next question will be, uh, we thought about, okay, what technology I should use? I can copy the question. For building the UI. Right, I'm just taking some reference that why, what should I do? HTML, CSS, JavaScript, obviously, no. We are working in the today's world where we have these frameworks to build the components. There is a React. And then there is Angular, there is a Vue.js, there is a Flutter. If you are looking for the native devices, Swift, Jamarine, and React Native. Okay, these are out of uh, options. We can stick to only the web framework because we are building this as a web app. Okay, and then, okay, uh, what technology should I use to deploy my app? So here I'm just checking, okay, what all technologies for deployments. Cloud platforms we can use like AWS, Azure, GCP, containerized solutions uh, where we can just deploy these services as, a, as an individual container. And serverless computing, you can deploy your these services as a simple Lambda or traditional hosting, you can buy your own uh, server, you create your own, configure your own VPC, deploy these services on these uh, systems ec2 instances or content delivery network this you can you can use to render the static content like you can deploy your front-end applications because those will be rendered through the cdn like react app and you can also use the platform as a service provided by netlify heroku Vercel. you can use to deploy your next js applications because that requires the node.js instance running either you can use a lambda edge or some something so you can use a platform as a Pass platform as a service provider by these. Okay. Now, what are other questions you have in mind? What technology should I use for version control? So I'm just I already know the answers. I'm just talking to you so that I can give you all the different options. Okay, distributed offline git you can install. You can you can also install this GitLab and get your on your own systems on your server, and then you can uh, have your own GitLab uh, repositories. Otherwise, you can use uh, GitLab and GitHub repositories provided by these. Uh, you can branching and merging. Git provides uh, excellent support for this branching and merging Git flow and you can also adopt your, some kind of a branching strategy. Speed and performance, Git provides all these things. Uh, for the collaborations and remote repositories, you can use a GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket where you can manage your remote repository. Okay, so these are the version control we can stick to. We can stick to GitHub. The, we are not in the world where we are using subversion, SVN, and all. Okay, so we got the version control, we got the deployment platform, and then should I use for writing code? Let's say I'm talking about editors, not technology here. Okay, uh, electron is a okay. What is the question? VS Code is a extensions API. VS Code is really powerful. JavaScript based uh, editors are there. AC editor, Atom. I want I won't talk about that. VS Code is more than enough. 
so we have covered the the technologies for the front end for the back end and for uh, technologies that i use for building microservices and then we can also ask chat gpt should i use rest api should i use graphql or should i use something else you can use go java node.js containerized and orchestration for that you can use a docker and kubernetes api gateway you can use aws api gateway for messaging you can use apache kafka and revit mq for database mysql postgres and uh, relational database and fair then logging and all now my question is should i use rest apis or graphql for building airbnb clone right now it talks about the pros and cons that i'm interested in rest api is representational state transfer a well established architecture style where you can define all these methods get put post rest apis are widely understood provide a clear separations between client and server you can use graphql it's also a query language where you are writing queries and the mutations and you are using graphql client to trigger query and mutations and that's also based on the http protocol graphql provide a strongly typed schemas allowing clouds clients to discover a particular query and the mutations so i mean there are many advantages you graphql will give you only what you need right graphql uh, i mean if the data transfer across client and server is a minimal then you are actually saving the bandwidth for the low uh, data connection devices and here we are doing a query and mutations we are fetching only whatever is needed okay if you want to get more attributes go get more uh, data uh, then you can just change the client you don't need to mutate or update the server and reflect those changes on top of that there are many uh, advantages so what all technologies how to write i mean we are just doing a generic discussion so i think these are the pretty much questions i have with chat gpt to understand uh, what all different solutions what all different tools what all different technologies which are available to build any saas platform right so now because airbnb clone or a booking.com clone it's like a saas based platform we are building where user can do all the user can run all the features at least for the demo and we are building all these microservices so that we can get all these things end to end ready so welcome to this uh, playlist where i'm going to cover airbnb called clone we i'm going to discuss on lots of things before even starting like baselining the code database discussions architecture discussions and how we are going to play with this on the local system okay thanks everyone uh, stay tuned i'm going to publish more and more videos and uber eats clone is already running